So it's really important that we have information not only about whether and where students go to college and whether they complete, but something about what happens to them afterwards. I think it's widely known that unemployment rates and wages differ considerably by racial and ethnic groups, but really looking at uh, people from different demographic groups who have the same level of education makes it more startling to see those gaps. So if you look at people with bachelor's degrees and you see that black and Hispanic graduates with bachelor's degrees earn significantly less than, say, white and Asian uh, graduates with the same kind of degree, then you have to start really asking questions about why that is. And the report documents that some of that has to do with where they went to school and with what they study, with their fields of study. And if you control for any of those things, it diminishes the differences, but those differences never uh, disappear. There are really strong differences. And I think what's really important is that it helps to locate these differences in higher education experiences in the broader social context. So it's not just about higher education. It's about what students experience before they get to the college age, and it's about the inequalities in the labor market. And that's a much harder thing to tackle than just what could colleges and universities do, or how can we increase opportunities for post-secondary education.